Hey yeah, guys, Manny Extreme Auto Kevin Camping with you again today. Option RV, lovely van. Um, customer option up for a Victron system on this, so a Victron Multi Plus inverter, and um, using all the Victron charge controllers in this one on the solar side of things in a BMV 712. Now, the only thing different on this van um, that's been done is um, as an option, as custom when they ordered the van was the multi-plus, the um, inverter charger. So it's been installed and wired up to all the all the factory outlets. Now, it's been done good and bad. <laughs> Number one, they've used really thick cable, which is good. It's something like 120 mil square. So they've actually read the book, which is tops. Um, they've put a incorrectly sized fuse in it. They've only put a little 250 in it. Um, so that's the bad thing. Um, you know, the cable was rated for a lot higher than that, and then the book will say about a 400. So that's rule number one. Secondly, um, it's not wired through the shunt. So that's just the solar controller there. That's the loads, right? Just, um, you know, blue pointed in. And that's just another, you know, probably the chassis. So we've got three, got a six mil and two eight BNS. Where's the inverter negative? Oh, that's right. Straight to the batteries. So you can see the problem that these guys have been having, and that's why I'm here, is they're running their batteries down there. They're all they're lead acids, um, which are coming out. We're going to put a big Victron setup in this and go with lithium, um, which I'll show you in a sec. But it's not wired through the shunt. And because it's not wired through the shunt, there's no resolution. Old mate can't see how many amps he's drawing, what's going on. I mean, the inverter's on pulling probably the biggest amount of power in this setup, yet he can't see what's going on. So the old battery monitor is reading, you know, 80, 90%, and his inverter's on running a bloody microwave or something, and he can't see it. He sees the voltage drop, but that won't change the percentage. It, it monitors amps across the shunt, um, current across the shunt, and it's unable to do that. So it's a 500 amp shunt with a BMV 712s, and it's not wired to it. So that's first port of call. Got to rewire the inverter set up properly. Um, second thing is we're doing a big lithium upgrade on this one, so I'll show you that. So we're going to go for the BMS... So the 65 amp battery for tech, so that'll be controlled by the uh, by the battery BMS. So that'll shut down in the event of um, you know batteries dropping down too low, temperature, etc. So that that actually controls the bit of lithium. It's really cool. Now I'm putting this in too to control the multi from inside the multi plus inverter charger, so that way you can have it on or off if he's at um you know without going outside, freezing the caravan park and live in the charger only position. Storage just leaves off or in charger only, doesn't matter. And then obviously on only when you're free camping and you're going to run microwaves and stuff like that, which I'll go through with the customer when I'm done. So that's inside here. What we're gonna do a bit of work here. Um, we're gonna change the solar controller out. I'm relocating this more than likely. We'll, we'll check that out shortly, but um, I don't like having these at a great distance from the battery. So we're talking as it runs through the wall, down through here and then through that, because we're upgrading it to the 50 and we're putting more solar on. Um, I like these really close to the battery for that reason, especially with high power stuff. You get a better charge current to it, voltage drop, etc. So we're gonna relocate that down to close to the batteries and get some more power. So Electron's 160 that we'll put in it, two of them. They're just gonna fit in the uh, chassis boxes, which is a really good thing. But you can see what they've done here. So they've used like, 120 which is really good but they've just jammed a 250 fuse in it um which you know i know it's not going to draw over that um continuous but it will peak and spike and it can and that'll just that little ans um or anl fuse i think it is yes yeah, no an or even a mega that'll pop straight away so good thick gauge cable which is fine we'll change all this um but they'll put the multi here i guess as close as possible as they could get it which is fine um but they they tried to do the remote wire setup and it just never worked. So that's why we're gonna to go to the remote panel and we need to obviously program this to set up um, for the lithium. And there we go. We're also putting the um, DC charger in. Put the 50 amp red arc in. Take care of the lithium as well. This will put a big charge current in while he's driving. Or is it gonna be um, four 170s um, pumping into the 50 amp controller? Now I've Told you before, I'm relocating the solar controller from the so many meters away and got it here. The batteries are right below this. Um, I've relocated the shunt as well. That's a battery protect and that's the BMS down in there for the Evictron batteries. So I am on 10 mil cable with this now. 
is 50 and we are a meter probably less maybe 800 mil to the batteries and that's going to create no volt drop but what we're doing is four panels on the roof we're not going to do an 80 volt string on this one we're going to go for two strings of 40 volts so that's two panels um in series two series and then parallel so we're going to keep it at 40 volts the reason is is because there's um the string that's already on the left there's two panels existing on this already so um rather than rerun a big string around um we're just going to go 40 and 40 which is still fine i mean the cable that runs from here to the roof is 8 bs so you know what are we talking 15 amp load on 8 bs cable from there to up that's yeah we might not have a problem with that might not have a problem with it all so we're going to get more power out of this i'll take a couple of snappies of what we can get out of these lithiums i'm off the grid now they come straight out of the box at about 50 60 percent state of charge so they're pretty much going to accept every amp we give it now if we get the solar panels on it it is winterish you know and sun's quite low but we do have full sun on the panels um we'll see what we can get out of it i'm going to guess maybe six amps a panel maybe seven at about two in the afternoon here close to winter so um see how close we get to that we're on off-grid setup on the option rv um got it all fired up now all programmed all the victron stuff programmed in the uh, bms is all set up multi-control the um, smart protect and all the low controllers and solar controllers are all set up um got it off at the moment because we're adding a bit more solar but while i've got ya ibis 4 inverter style air conditioner that i've got running right now off the lithiums now i've got it set to 19 sun's out it's warm as pretty pretty warm it is um i want to show you how many amps it draws i'll flick my camera around there's the ibis 4 inverters ramped up pulling about 50 hit 60 before and it didn't move past 60. so this is the ibis 4 at 12 volts got it set for 16. yep nice and cold beautiful that'll ramp up and it hits about 60. oh i shouldn't have done that um there we go try and turn this brightness up for you that's running now now i've got no solar coming in zero solar okay i've turned the solar controller off because we're doing some solar work at the moment now it's cycling because it's reached temperature in here. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's the inverter ramping down slowly. Look at that, off the grid. You know, now we're going to be putting on a fair bit of solar, so it um, should keep up with it quite well. 